What if I told you the U.S. military just thwarted what may have been a major terrorist attack on U.S. soil and the U.S. government is using semantics and tricks of language to keep it hidden from you? There are articles all over the place talking about it, but nobody is reading into the details because they're using advanced psychological operations and algorithms to keep you from seeing it. The story could have been lifted right out of a Showtime series called Homeland, and it happened right north of the Florida border in Georgia. They have the ability, those trained in psychological operations, to make you believe two equals one. And one equals two. And I'm sure a lot of people are out there going, Florida Maki, you could never convince me two equals one. I know better. Two is a number. One is a number. In that sense and in that context, they are the same thing. They're both positive numbers. They're both positive integers. They're both less than 10. In many ways, you could describe one and two being equal. There is a war going on for your mind. That was a very simple example that I just used. The advanced examples, the complicated ones, will float right by and you'll never see it. Many people just wouldn't accept this, but it's the truth. If you would like the training, if you would like to get read in on how to read through psychological operations and understand the tricks of language they're using join us over at the patreon channel florida maquis it's only one u.s dollar per month the lowest allowable level even less if you sign up for an entire year and over there i'm going to share the details of this particular story and how close it was I can't, of course, because it's YouTube, share the details here. But trust me, this is something you guys are going to want to know about. It's just as simple as this. 24 cognitive biases, 24 logical fallacies. When you have a command of them, you will be able to see right through what they're saying and realize what the truth is. Now, many people have come to my channel and still take an issue with this story out of Venezuela that I started covering many years ago, saying the U.S. government's lying to you. It isn't socialism that destroyed Venezuela. In fact, the U.S. is a socialist country. Oh, and many people push back. No, we're not. Oh, we're definitely not a socialist country. Well, in some ways that's true. But if there were anything that's going to cause the destruction of the United States, it's going to be capitalism, not socialism. But Florida Maquis, I knew people from Venezuela that were poor. Well, there's poor people in the United States, too. But what if I told you there's more proof now that people in the United States, even in conservative states, in red states, are socialists? You see, they tried to use the Saturday morning cartoon um, psyop saying, oh, see this guy here, he's got the dark mustache, he must be bad. He must be the bad guy. But now when we look at what's going on with Russia and how their first choice was to use sanctions to destroy a country, does it start to ring a bell? Does it start to ring a bell? But you're ready for the real story? Mexico suspends subsidy to stop Americans from crossing border for cheaper petrol. Wait, what's going on here? Mexico has suspended petrol subsidy in states close to the U.S. border in a bid to stop Americans from driving across to fill up their tanks at subsidized rates. Mexico's finance ministry said there have been shortages because of the increasing rate of Americans crossing over to buy petrol. Now, why is it cheaper in Mexico? Simple. Mexico has Pemex, state-run oil. And the states where they are suspending the subsidy? Texas, Tamaulipas, 
Nuevo Leon, Coahuila, Chihuahua, Sonora, even Arizona, all this area. Supposedly all these conservative folks that are also pro-capitalism sure love their socialism when it saves them a few bucks. You see, the real invasion is going south, not north. The real invasion was going south, not north. You see, they drill oil in Mexico and they pull it up out of the ground and they take that money, they sell it on the open market and then they use that money to keep prices low for their country. You see, that's socialism. That's democratic socialism. State-run oil, it's what Venezuela had, but Venezuela's version was on steroids. In Venezuela, gasoline was free. And the Colombians came across the border and destroyed it at the behest of Washington, D.C., causing shortages, same thing with the groceries, stealing the currency, and then dumping it back in after the currency was replaced. All games, all games played now that we can see from D.C. against Russia. Where do you think they learned how to do it? I was watching a video earlier from Southern Prepper getting fruit trees, getting fruit trees, this is the video, and he titled this video, this is me panicking because of potential food shortages and high inflation. You see, there's not going to be an actual shortage of food. They're going to love the shortage of food because they're going to be able to charge more per pound for whatever. So I believe Southern Prepper's up in Southern Carolina somewhere, and he's planting apple trees, and he's planting plum trees. I planted last fall. I put citrus, eight citrus trees in last fall. I hope I got in in time, but we'll have to see. But nobody can answer this question. Nobody, and I'm sure many people have read the story out of Georgia about what's happened, but they haven't read the details in a way that would make them go, wait a minute, hold on. This can't be true. Because when you line the facts up with what actually happened, even in their own reports, something stinks. And they have been keeping it very, very quiet. So once again, you want the details? You want the training? Like I said, in the military, a lot of jobs. Cooks, tire changers, door kickers. My job was the human mind. And knowing how to discern this stuff. And how to use psychological operations to make people believe up is down. Left is right. Black is white. It can be done. We'd love to have you over there. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.